Hello, today I want to show you how to uh, create the LACP port to Cisco switch. My server is HP G8. Uh, uh, I already installed ES6 and we center. If we suppose this is my uh, server and this is my switch. This is a layer 2 Cisco switch. Um, my server have a uh, four port physical port and my uh, uh, switch have a 24 uh, physical interface when we uh, when you install the v center you have to create the uh, distrib uh, distribution switches when you create it by default uh, you create the uplink uh, the distribution switch create the uplink trunk the function is trunk and you can add the uh, add the port in, uh, whatever ex uh, whatever uh, vlan you want uh, this is a vlan x uh, vlan 30 and so on and uh, first uh, when you create it uh, you have to uh, connect it to distribution switch to your ES6 and uh, ES6 uh, pass through uh, your um, pass through and connect your uh, distribution port to physical port so and then uh, uh, we can cre uh, create the VLANs that is connect to the uplink port and then when we connect to distribution switch uh, and connect to ESC, we can create the LACP link aggregation uh, connection port and it's connected to the uh, physical port and then uh, we, uh, the mode of the LACP in the VMware should be uh, uh, passive just like that Uh, my uh, handwrite is not very well, but I prefer to uh, show you in a, in a configuration. And the switch, um, the switch uh, link aggregation LACP should be uh, more active, so passive and active. And we, in, uh, the load balancing method uh, is source destination IP, and it should be same to each other. And then when we uh, we create the LACP, we have to add the LACP to physical uh, interface. Uh, that is the encapsulation. Uh, the mode of the physical uh, uh, switch is um, uh, it should be trunk. That's my encapsulation. That's my queue and um, in trunk mode. And the same up to uh, VMware reset. Okay, uh, we're going to we going to our vCenter. Here, the, I have uh, some um, virtual machine in here, and then I go to the network network in a vCenter. I already created the distribution switch. As I said last before, uh, by default um, distribution uh, create uplink uh, uplink port. I already created VLAN 40 port, and I can add another one. For example, um, port group new one. For example, here VLAN 17 create, and I uh, how many port uh, and the uh, you can. Uh, Change the mode VLAN, VLAN trunk, private VLAN, and so on. And uh, now is the untagging uh, VLAN. But I uh, select the VLAN, the VLAN one is, for example, 15. And next, and finish. Okay, I already uh, created. Let's go to topology of my distribution suite. 
distribution switch. My uh, distribution distribution switch is included eight port, and I want to connect to the uplink of the distribution D center to exact to the um, ES6 and ES6 pass to the uh, physical port. I want to add the uh, port number 0 and 1. First of all, I will right click on a distribution switch, add, uh, add and manage host, add the host, select it. Uh, I already connected, but at first, if you want to uh, do first time, you have to add it. But now I just added my port to the host. I select uh, this host. Next. Okay. As I said last before, I have a four uh, physical interface: zero, one, two, three. But I just connected um, zero and one, just in a di uh, diagram. Zero one, zero and zero one to the uplink port, just like that. Here to here. And I select the uplink uh, uplink one to distribution in a V center to uh, port uh, physical port. This is the physical port and I add this physical port to the logical port of the distribution to wind V center. Okay. Uplink one of the log uh, of course this is a uh, lo uh, logical port. Uh, this is a logical port, and this is a uh, this is a physical. Excuse me. This is a physical port to uh, logical port of the distribution switch of the V center. And next, and of course I can uh, add to uh, this switch, but uh, for uh, uh, for some reason I do not because I uh, I have no access to connect to V center and ESX. Next, this is a uh, VM. Uh, this is a management network, the VM kernel. Uh, and ask me, do you want to connect it to distribution switch? I do. I do not. I prefer to do. Don't do that. Next, and uh, it asked me uh, what the uh, virtual machine want to connect it. I said no because I already assigned the uh, virtual machine to the to the this um, logical port and I prefer to do that next next okay as I said to you the link uh, logical port of the distribution switch in the V center has connected uh, to physical port of my uh, server just like that yeah yes it's connected here to here. This is a logical and this is a physical. And then I go to LACP, LA link aggregation. I click in the view, I type LACP. I add two ports, it's enough. And the mode, as I said last before, this is an act. One interesting matter in, in this case, you have to select the um, source destination IP address. It must be same as your Cisco switches. Okay, it has been created. You can see in the topology, but we have to add the LACP to the logical network interface of the V center. Okay, we can go again um, at uh, and the house manager here.
I add to LACP to logical port of the distribution switch. I do not add the VM kernel. Next, next, and finish. Okay. So you see the LACP add to uh, here VM uh, VM network NIC zero and two, just like that. If I want to explain it. Uh, Uplink, uh, uplink, uh, uplink has connect to the LACP and LACP directly connect to the physical uh, NIC of my server. Okay. Now I'm going to VLAN 16. I Click in the configure, edit. This is the name of the VLAN 16. This is the elastic that you find and uh, 12 port. All of the is the VLAN tag is the 16. And I, of course, I can change them more, but I prefer to uh, VLAN 16. And the security rejected. Okay. We have to, uh, we want to say uh, group port of the distribution switches have to active uplink. And we select a role base on a physical network interface low, just like that. And then OK. Let's Go to the topology. Yeah. And uh, I already add to my uh, virtual machine to VLAN 16. Okay. Next, we are going to switch configuration. I want to, as I uh, show in a diagram, I want to add the, um, the I uh, connect to the physical uh, port of the server uh, 0 and 1 to the uh, port uh, of gigabyte Ethernet of the 23 and 24, as I write here. Okay, let's go. Uh, inter, uh, interface range gigabyte Ethernet uh, one. Uh, added. I said switch port. Um, one calculation dot one q. That's my Q enter and switch switch uh, more trunk. That's it. And then I want to assign the LACP port to one. Yeah, I want to. I can figure here. This is a related to CD bar interface. I uh, the mode is that thank you and try and I want to add the LACP port channel to this uh, interface. I write the uh, channel group uh, one mode. 
old active why because last before I talk about the it must be passive the server VMware should be passive and um, the switch Cisco switch should be active active Send the whole parameters to passive. Passive only receive. Active. Nothing more. Enter. And green. And I go, I'm going to interface of channel port 1. The interface. Channel one, and I set the switch port trunk encapsulation that find use switch port mode trunk, and I do exit the physical interface and uh, logical interface of the link aggregation LHCB. Both of them should be trunk encapsulation mode. And I uh, create a load balancing the channel channel load balancing source destination IP address. That's it. To show. You can see the interface port channel one is the switch port trunk encapsulation that one Q switch port mode trunk and my Interface Giga Ethernet. Both of them are encapsulation that one Q and more try. That's it. Thank you very much. Goodbye.